Today I am going to show you how to create cool AI videos starting from any clip you have. Combining Rave with Animate Diff, you can take any of your videos and transform yourself into a neon cyberpunk dog. Or convert a car on the desert into a warship on the sea. Rave is a new method for video editing in stable diffusion. After the transformation, we will combine it with Animate Diff for a consistent result. For this video, we will use the new version 3. Rave is a video-to-video -video method recently created that can be used in Comfy UI. With this method, you can change objects and change styles by using prompts. No need of IP adapters or masking tricks. This video has two parts. First, I will explain how to get the starting workflow, install custom nodes and the models that are used in the tutorial. In part 2 I will show how to construct the workflow with Rave and Animate Diff. In the description, you can find the links to the workflow, nodes and models. You will also have the chapter list for quick access to each step. Let's start. The starting workflow we are using can be found in the Comfy UI custom node of Rave in GitHub. Navigate to the workflow folder and open Rave basic workflow JSON file. Download it by clicking in the arrow icon on the right. Come back to Comfy UI and drag the file you have downloaded over Comfy. If you do not have the required nodes, an error like this will appear. As usual, install the custom nodes by going to the manager and then clicking over install custom nodes. To run Rave we need to have at least these custom nodes. In addition, we will need Animate Diff Evolved and Advanced Control Nets. I also list other nodes which are used in this workflow or could be useful to improve the layout. After you have downloaded the custom nodes, you will need to download the relevant models. In this tutorial, we will make two examples. In the first one we will use the realistic vision checkpoint. For the second, we will use Jaggernaut. For control net, we will need the depth control net, which is the one used in the starting workflow. This model can be installed directly from the manager in install models. We will also use the control GIF. It is a control net very useful to get low flickering animations with animate diff. In the second example, we will use of the loose control depth map control net. This new control net allows us to get even more creative transformations. We are going to use animate diff version 3. This version works with the domain adapter a motion module and a sparse control encoder. However, we only need the adapter and the motion module. Download and copy the version 3 motion model for Animate Diff. Download and copy the version 3 SD 1.5 of the adapter and place it in the LoRa Models folder. After all is installed, update the Comfy UI and restart. Select the video you are going to modify. In the example, a relaxed lady leaning on a fence. For testing, we are going to set the frames to process to 16. We also select every 3 frames, which we can later recover with frame interpolation. We will reduce the size of the images, as this video is high resolution. You can use many of the image resizing nodes available. We connect the frames to the input and the image output to the Zoe Depth Map preprocessor and the VAE encode node. For this video, we will downscale the images by 4 so the rescale factor is 0.25. In the load checkpoint node we are going to use the realistic vision checkpoint we downloaded and installed. The control net is depth. Make sure that the right model is in the load control net model. The control net is used for both the main prompt on the branch on top and for the control net on the branch below. For the unsampler node, reduce the steps to 12. In this node, we inverse the diffusion process. We create a noise from which we reconstruct the transformed image with the Rave case sampler. Therefore, in the case sampler we need to use also 12 steps. We will not change the rest of the settings, but we will fix the seed and use the one I used for the preparation of the workflow. Now the prompt. For this video, we are going to transform the lady into a sporty chihuahua. We also want to transform the image to a cyberpunk style while still keeping some realism using the realistic vision model. In the negative prompt, watermark, worst quality, bad quality. Let's deactivate the saving option in the video combine node and run the workflow. 
well, the rave workflow is easy to run. We have easily got a nice chihuahua with a lot of neon details. The image is nice, but we can make it less flickery with control GIF and animate diff. We will do a second pass to the animation. For that we can use any of the several latent upscale nodes. Connect the latent to the node. Upscale by a 1.5 factor and use the bilinear mode. For the second pass, we will use the case sampler advanced. First, let's connect the output of the latent upscale node. We copy the VED code and video combine nodes. Paste using Ctrl Shift V to keep the VED connection. Connect the case sampler to the VED code. For long animations, we need to change the apply control net node and use the ones from the advanced control net to avoid errors during execution. We just make sure that the connections are kept and that we use the same models and the same settings like at the beginning. Now we copy the advanced control net apply node. We connect the conditioning output from the first to the second apply control net node. We are going to use now the control GIF control net. We need a new loader. We select the right model, which is control net checkpoint. We do not need a lot of guidance, so we decrease the strength to 0.3. Finally, we connect the output conditioning nodes to the K-sampler. For control GIF control net, I find out that, depending on the animation, sometimes it's better to use the original frames and sometimes the rave K-sampler frames. We will prepare both possibilities by placing rerouting nodes next to the control net. However, for the Chihuahua example we will use the original image. To use version 3 of Animate Diff, we need to add a LoRa model loader node. We connect the checkpoint to the input. Then, we choose the version 3 SD 1.5 adapter model. You do not need this if you use a different version of Animate Diff. The output model from the LoRa node is going to be connected to the Animate Diff loader with Context node. We then connect the output of the node to the sampler. To run long animations, we will need to indicate the context options in its corresponding node, which make appear by dragging the pointer from the context options input. For Animate Diff version 3 we then select the motion module we downloaded before. Finally, we set the case sampler final settings. We use the same seed as the rave case sampler, and we set it as fixed. We also use the same CFG, sampler name and scheduler than in the rave case sampler. And as a starting step, we start at 5. Now we are ready. We can run the workflow and see the outcome with Animate Diff. And this is the result, not bad. Test looks okay. Let's run the animation for longer, let's say 96 frames. And here we have it. We have fully transformed a young woman into a chihuahua. With Rave and Animate Diff we are able to take a boring clip and create a totally different scene. This technique is amazing to create fantastic videos. Let's make a second example and use a different clip. We will try to convert this car into a boat. We select every fourth frame and reduce the number of frames to 64. We will keep the original video resolution so we set the rescale factor to 1. We will also change the checkpoint and use Juggernaut.
depth maps provide too much resolution and the object will be difficult to transform. Instead, we use the new loose control depth maps. This control net takes the depth map boundaries and guides the images more creatively with the prompt. We also change the prompt. In this case we want to convert the car into a warship, and instead to be in the desert, we want to be on the sea. For this new animation, we will change the control GIF settings. We are going to set the strength to 1, but only apply it from 0 to 0 0.3. We will also change the input frames. For this example, we will use the Rave render output frames. And ready, we can test the new animation. We have done a complete transformation of our original footage. We have now a clip of a boat sailing on the sea. Final adjustments and frame interpolation can be used to improve the animation. More control nets or IP adapter can be used to further steer your animation. I hope you've liked the tutorial. Check out my other tutorials of Animate Diff and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Please consider to support this channel with a Kofi. That means a lot and gives me energy to continue making these videos. And thanks for watching.